thing about techniques, and the other one is about whether testers should become technical. Decide. I'll start with the, with the second one. OK. Uh, if I have time left, I'll do the techniques. Um, this morning, Anthony said, developers should become testers, and testers should become developers. I have no problems at all with developers becoming testers. If you write code, you should be able to write it correctly, and you should be able to test it, and you should be a good tester. The other way around, though, I don't think is right, at least not in every circumstance. There are a lot of testers out there who don't want to be programmers. That's maybe why they became testers in the first place. And if they did become programmers, they probably wouldn't be very good programmers, and so they would be very frustrated in their work, whereas at the moment, as testers, they love their work. A lot of testers come from a business background, and they love testing, but they don't want to be programmers. This is particularly a, pro um, a problem in test automation, because if you're going to be a test automator, you need to be technical. I was talking to a lady a couple weeks ago uh, at her company. There were a number of testers who have a business background, great testers, do a good job of testing 50 of them. They're getting test automation. And a high-level manager said, if you're not going to be technical, your future in this company may, is rather uncertain. Guess what that did to morale? A team that was formerly really happy and really productive, zoom, got on those morale. They, all, they don't want to become technical. And test automation needs technical people for some of it, but it should be the, the layer that's closely attached to the tool should be separated out, and the testers should be able to write and run automated tests without knowing anything about the technical detail of the tool. How much time I got left? Three and a half minutes. Take very long today. Go for it. <laughs> Comments? Well, I, I do see a, a rise in the need for technical testers anyway, because of the fact that, specifically in, in embedded software and with more complex development environments, that you need to be able to tweak beyond just mere testing. But if you're testing in a complex technical environment, then you need to, to have those skills. But if you're testing at a, a bank or in a business environment, why do you need technical skills? You need business skills. Well, at, I'm working currently at the bank, and the technical skills are, are really appreciated by now because even technical financial systems are getting more complex. But does that mean that you do away with all the business testers and throw away all those years of experience? Uh, two things. One thing is that uh, recently Elizabeth Hendrickson uh, did research on job opening positions and they found out that 75% of all the test positions were considering anything that had to do with programming as well as testing of course. Uh, my second point is um, testers don't need to be afraid about becoming technical here, here. if they are allowed to pair up with a programmer who can help them. Yep. That can help, but then it's not the tester that's becoming technical, is it? I think a pairing between developer and tester can be does. Good. I think it's, uh, we should look at it as a group of people, and we need the different skills, and we need diversity of it. Yeah. So it's not either technical or business. We need both. Uh, we need the balance of it is different to the yeah. purpose of testing. Exactly. So, we so need don't to throw separate. away all the people who don't want to be technical and no. say, oh, no, you can't be a tester anymore. Well, I talk to about, with individuals like that, I talk about technical awareness, right? So if I have my tester on the team that doesn't know anything technical, but they're sitting in a meeting and they hear that, oh, we're doing a driver upgrade on the database, and they're like, ah, it's technical, I don't need to understand that. I'm, my challenge is, no, you do. Go find somebody who can help you understand what that means in terms of testing this part of the application. You may never need to interpret that in any technical way, but you need to be technically aware to say, help me understand how that changes what I'm going to do. What, what does technical mean anyway? Right? Technical means somebody who's able to apply a technique. Well, let's face it, there are dozens and dozens of techniques. There are, are uh, uh, programming techniques, there are testing techniques, there are financial analysis techniques. I, th I think the, the, the use of the word technical is so impossibly vague as to be really unhelpful. Question not it is not to me whether testers should be technical or not. Their testers are always applying techniques. Question is, what techniques are important? What Thank techniques you. make a difference? Thank you for that lead in, Michael. I'd not like to do my techniques bit. Should we give her another talk? Should we just give her another lightning no, talk? It's the easiest way to do with 24 this, seconds left. This is short. It might be more than 24. Ah, let's let's just cancel it off and give you another five minutes. What do you say? Effect graphing, yeah. equivalence partitions, boundary analysis, and state transitions. Reviews 
these are Three inspections minutes. of memory leaks. These are a few of my favorite techniques. <laughs> when the code works, when the tests run, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite techniques, and then I don't feel so bad. There we go. Logic flow diagrams done in regression, syntax analysis, data compression, <laughs> coverage of branches in less than two weeks. These are a few of my favorite techniques. When they tell me it's a feature and I get depressed, I simply remember my favorite techniques and oh how I love to test. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.